Hello everyone, my name is Ava Charette. I'm a rising sophomore environmental science major at Spelman College and I'm currently researching in Professor Crossley's agricultural entomology lab. Annually, around 22 million pounds of food is wasted on college campuses alone and around one third of food is wasted in general. This is an issue because many people struggle with food insecurity while we're also wasting a lot of food. Here we are researching how we can use black soldier fly larvae to combat food waste and turn this into fertilizer that can later be used by farmers and the general public. Now this is our site where we feed all of the larvae with food waste that we gather from different restaurants across campus. This is one of the bins where it houses the larvae and I'll give you guys a closer look. For research purposes, we are filling six bins with brewery waste, also known as spent grains. The larvae thrive in this environment, and these bins are our control variable. The next bin we will look at is produce. The larvae in these bins tend to have a larger mass, and according to the article Ability of Black Soldier Fly Larvae to Recycle Food Waste, black soldier fly larvae may prefer kitchen or produce waste because it has a greater fat and calorie content compared to spent grains. Now that we have looked at these bins, I'm going to show you how we add food to the bin. So now I'm going to show you how we set up a new bin for the larvae. For this bin, we're doing a combination of 10 pounds of spent grain, which is brewery waste, and five pounds of meat. So how I add for the larvae is I just scoop up some of the spent grains, and then I add this into the bin. And then I do the same thing with the meat. So we usually get the meat also from the local restaurant as well. And then I'll show you guys what the bin looks like when it's full and we're ready to add the larvae. Now you guys can see what it looks like when we add the larvae to the completed bin of meat and grains. Recently, I have been doing field work in a flax field where black soldier fly frass is used as fertilizer. The organization Full Circle Bioconversion is located here, and I got a chance to interview the founder, Aubrey. My name is Ava Charette, and I'm here with Aubrey, the fly farmer, and today I'm going to be asking her some questions. So as the founder of Full Circle Bioconversion, what does your organization do, and what is the role that black soldier flies play? So the main goal of this operation is to divert as much food waste from the animals as possible. Um, this is an operation that has a very small footprint, and because it, I do use the black soldier fly larva, it allows me to stay within that small footprint. So uh, because I use them also, I have additional soil amendments and products available, which just opens up the opportunity for um, more, more beneficial um, sales for other people, other than just like our What type of beneficial sales have you seen recently? Uh, so I have a really growing uh, customer base for the dehydrated larva. Um, a lot of chicken farmers buy them for me and also just people that like to feed their birds like in their bird feeders at home. So that's that's been a really growing product. Um, the frass, which is a soil amendment, which um, basically is larva manure. Uh, I sell that as well and that's been a little bit slower to gain popularity, but it's it's growing. What type of impact have you seen in your community trying to reduce food waste? And why is this an issue you're passionate about? This, this area in particular is kind of a composting desert. There's really no, nothing, nothing that works with food waste in particular. And um, because we have such a robust agricultural industry in Pennsylvania, we have something like 50,000 farms here, I really feel like there's a missing link there and I'm trying to fill that link. Um, so the customers that I have, uh, I tell them, you're feeding your future self by doing this. And I think that's a message that really hits them and it feels really important to them. And can you share a little bit about what's going on in this bin, in this space in general? So this is where kind of uh, the, the sausage is made. Um, the food comes in, it gets processed into this weird concoction slurry 
Uh, and then it just goes into the larva here. And so I can actually feed them. And everything I feed them today, uh, today we took in a couple hundred pounds. Um, that'll be gone tomorrow. Oh, yep. So this is a really space efficient, time efficient, uh, beneficial product option for keeping food out of the landfill. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.